messieurs, dames, bonjour. Bon sortir, on se retrouve pour une vidéo sur RWBY, chapitre 12, jeune 10, partie 2. Donc, cette vidéo a été enregistrée juste aujourd'hui, donc le 12, euh, non, le 8 mai 2016, à 11h18, car j'avais enregistré l'épisode 13, eu enregistré l'épisode 12, partie 2. Je ne suis désolé pour ce retard qui normalement devait être posté à midi pile, sauf que là sera posté un petit peu plus tard. Désolé pour ça, j'espère que vous me pardonnerez. Et c'est parti pour donc l'épisode 12 partie 2 justement tout seul, car l'épisode 13 sortira donc dimanche prochain ou dans la même soirée. Allez c'est parti Et voilà, Zone dort encore, hein. alors que ce professeur se déplace à la vitesse grand V, comme vous le voyez. Simply dreadful. Remember, students, it is precisely this kind of ignorance that breeds violence. I mean, I mean, I mean, just look at what happened to the White Fang. Now, which one of you young scholars can tell me what many theorists believe to be the turning point in the third year of the war? Yes. The battle at Fort Castle. Precisely. And who can tell me the advantage the Faunus had over General Lagoon's forces? Hey. This art finally contributing to class. This is excellent, excellent. What is the answer? Uh, the answer, the advantage, uh, the faunus had over that guy's stuff. Uh, binoculars. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Ark. Colin, perhaps you would care to share your thoughts on the subject. Well, I know it's a lot easier to train an animal than a soldier. You're not the most open-minded of individuals, are you, Carden? What? You got a problem? No, I have the answer. It's night vision. Many faunas are known to have nearly perfect sight in the dark. <sighs> General Lagoon was inexperienced and made the mistake of trying to ambush the Faunus in their sleep. His massive army was outmatched and the general was captured. Perhaps if he'd paid attention in class, he wouldn't have been remembered as such a failure. Mr. Winchester, please take your seat. <laughs> you and Mr. Ark can both see me after class for additional readings. Oh. Now, moving on. You go on ahead. I'll wait for Jean. You two have been struggling in my class since day one. Now, I don't know if it's a lack of interest or just your stubborn nature, but whatever it is, it stops now. You've worked hard to gain entrance to the school, and we only accept the best of the best, so I expect you to act like it. History is important, gentlemen. If you can't learn from it, you're destined to repeat it. Pages 51 to 91. I want an essay on my desk by next class. Now, run along. No, pal! <laughs> ah, you know, I really will break his legs. <sighs> I have an idea. Here, come with me. <laughs> I know I'm going through a hard time right now, but I'm not that depressed. I can always be a farmer or something. No! That's not why I brought you up here. 
John, I know you're having a difficult time in class, and that you're still not the strongest of fighters, so I want to help you. What? We can train up here after class where no one can bother us. You think I need help? N no. No, that's not what I meant. But you just said it. John, everybody needs a little push from time to time. It doesn't make you any different from the rest of us. You made it to Beacon. That speaks volumes of what you're capable of. You're wrong. I, I don't belong here. That's a terrible thing to say. Of course you do. No, I don't. <sighs> I wasn't really accepted into Beacon. What do you mean? I mean, I didn't go to combat school. I didn't pass any tests. I didn't earn my spot at this academy. I lied. I got my hands on some fake transcripts, and I lied. What? But... Why? Because this is what I've always wanted to be. My father, my grandfather, and his father before him were all warriors. They were all heroes. I wanted to be one too. I was just never good enough. Then let me help you. I don't want help. I don't want to be the damsel in distress. I want to be the hero. John, I... I'm tired of being the lovable idiot stuck in the tree while his friends fight for their lives. Don't you understand? If I can't do this on my own, then what good am I? Just leave me alone, okay? If that's what you think is best. <laughs> oh, Jean. Carden? I couldn't help but overhear you two from my dorm room. So, you snuck into Beacon, huh? I gotta say, Jean, I never expected you to be such a rebel. Please, Cardin, please don't tell anyone. Jean, come on. I'd never rat on a friend like that. Uh, a friend? Uh, of course. We're friends now, Johnny boy. And the way I see it, as long as you're there for me when I need you, we'll be friends for a long time. <laughs> that being said... I really don't have time to do those extra readings Dr. Ubuck gave us today. Think you could take care of that for me, buddy? That's what I thought. Don't worry, Jean. Your secret's safe with me. Et voilà, c'était la fin de cet épisode de RWBY part et chapitre 12. Ouais, plutôt épisode 12, excusez-moi, chapitre 2. Donc, donc, nous allons voir si John va se faire repérer ou si Cardigan va dire à John, à son professeur, que John a triché sur ses, sur ses statistiques, sur ses performances. Nous allons voir ça dans l'épisode 13, pas maintenant, mais... Dimanche prochain, promis, à midi pile, ce, ce jour-là. Merci d'avoir regardé cet épisode. On se retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo mercredi sur euh, Piano du Tel 2. On se retrouve pour une autre vidéo aussi dimanche pour RWY, partie... Donc, et chapitre donc, 13. Voilà. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé, liké, commenté si vous aimez. Et voilà. Merci. Au revoir.